Hey, this will be a video chart on LOCN. Uh, just a monster day today, as you can see. This is the daily chart. Uh, volume uh, started a little bit yesterday, but today really poured in, and the price uh, reacted uh, very nicely up over almost 400%. Uh, so very nice day. Lots of people's eyes were on it, and I got a lot of questions. Uh, but I'm not going to go over the daily chart just because, as you can see, it's kind of worthless in the sense of you really can't tell too much from it. All you can really tell is that it did blast through uh, the 200 day cent moving average, which is that orange line there, uh, which is a good sign. But besides that, you really can't tell anything much. So what I'm going to do is just drop down to the five minute chart uh, because that will give us more of a idea of what happened, you know, the past couple days and, you know, what we will hopefully see, uh, you know, going into the future. So the volume, like I said, uh, started over here on the, the 28th and you can see volume started to come in and the stock basically began to come to life here and then uh, really took off here and you know just uh, made a huge move and uh, from there you know we had a pullback and the key during this pullback and what I you know clearly a lot of people noticed was uh, right here at the bottom before it started to trend back up for the rest of the day check out this huge volume right here so this was definitely you know the capitulation on the pullback I mean it was still within the context of a bullish move uh, but you know somebody you know, a lot of people sold out right down here at the bottom, uh, you know, and other people got really nice entries, and then it uptrended actually down here right at two cents, and then it ended up here up 100% where this big capitulation move uh, happened. So just want an example of how you should always be kind of looking out for big volume day, or not, this is a, a five-minute chart, obviously, so not big volume days, but big big volume periods like you had right here, uh, 10 minutes in a, or 10 minutes of time here, you can see this volume. Uh, really took off and was uh, extremely significant. So what do we want to see going forward now? Uh, well, the first thing to note is this 50 period, simple moving average, this per, uh, purple line has been doing a very good job of providing support. You can see that uh, later on in the day, every time the price got close to it, uh, the um, price then you know bounced back up to the upside to separate. And that's what we want to see continue happen. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a solid area of support. And then also going back to the daily real quick, uh, a key area of support is going to be uh, the three cent range, which is this 200 day cent moving average. So keep that in the back of your minds uh, if you're wondering what a key area um, where the bulls need to kind of flex their muscles and show that this is a genuinely strong move. You know, it's going to be right around this three cent area because this was the 200 day um, uh, moving average. Now, in terms of a pattern that's taking shape here, we have uh, pretty much a, a pennant pattern. Where you know these past couple of days form what we'll call the flagpole of the pattern here, and then we had uh, the top of this pattern, which is the resistance level taking shape right here. So let's get that changed to red, and then the support part of the pattern. Is this part right here? And for you golfers out there, hopefully you're seeing something familiar take shape here in terms of a, a pennant. So this is what we would call a bull pennant formation. You know, we, you have the flag pull, which is the big move, then you have the resistance level, then you have the support level, and then, like I said, for you golfers, picture the hole down there, and there you have your um, bull pennant formation. The reason this is a bull pennant and not a bear pennant is because it is taking place in a bullish context. And what gives me the right to say bullish context? Well, it's easy to verify that you just look at this 50 period and see the strong upslope to it and you know that's enough said right there to uh, you know call this uh, a bull pennant so that's what uh, the patterns in uh, coming on Monday you know the key will be to get back above uh, this resistance level which looks like it's right around 0 .00 or 0 0.043 or so give or take uh, but if it can get through there on some strong volume again uh, you know the daily chart doesn't show any really resistances could so it could be another you know big move to the upside uh, if it falls to the downside, well then, like I said, that three cent area, which on the five minute is right here, is going to be a key area of support because that's where the uh, 200, 200 day simple moving average uh, sits at. So if there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart set up, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from penny stocks up to big boards. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. So I'd encourage you to head to the website, sign up, and give it a try. One more time, this was LOCN. Thanks for listening.